people have forgotten where their food comes from. For thousands of years, everything was organic. I've been to schools where kids didn't know what animal a hamburger came from. I used to eat fast food, uh, not all the time, uh, but I, I liked the taste of it. And I became curious about what I was eating and where it came from. The more I learned about it, the more amazed I was that I just I didn't know what I've been eating all these years. The meatpacking industry, the fast food industry, the, the GMO companies, they really don't want you to go behind uh, the surface and understand where this food comes from. They just want you to buy it and eat it. So the goal of Fast Food Nation was to take this food that millions and millions of people are eating every day and try to get people to think about it. The, the film Food Inc. really has the same aim. And Robbie Kenner, the director, is looking at the transformation of our food system in a very brief period of time uh, and the consequences for the environment, for people, for livestock, and uh, on our health. The food's been transformed. It's radically different than it used to be 30, 40, 50 years ago. So much of our food's become industrialized. And it's really a story about the United States, but it's really a story about the whole world. It's happening everywhere. Well, there are many, many uh, important ways that these problems need to be addressed. But I think perhaps the most important is through the schools and through programs like the Food for Life Partnership. Uh, eating habits are formed very young. And it's absolutely essential that we prevent our children from developing poor eating habits that are going to lead to poor health. Where does the majority of fast food come from? I mean, these fast foods are made in enormous factories because these fast food restaurants want their food to taste everywhere exactly the same at thousands and thousands of restaurants. So you go to these factories and they're huge. If you saw these factories where they're making your food, their food, you really might not want to eat their food. And when we were kids, when you got a hamburger, it came from one cow. Today, a hamburger might be part of a thousand different cows. Uh, and it could be shipped thousands of miles. And the whole point is, ultimately, to take control for yourself of your own life and be able to make choices and not just eat what other people are feeding you without knowing where it comes from. got to get the next generation um, learning how to cook, learning how to grow um, and appreciating good food and, and what's good for the planet. Schools and their communities are hugely important. They can play the major role in getting uh, fresher prepared local organic food onto the menu and then hopefully those children will take it back into the wider audience and they grow with that knowledge. What we've got certainly within Food for Life partnership is over 1,300 schools signed up. We've got in excess of 120,000 meals being served every day that meet the Food for Life partnership criteria which is phenomenal from where we actually came from. stir fry with the vegetables from our garden. The problem with junk food is that there's too much fat in it and people people know that there's too much fat in it and they like they eat too much of it but then they don't want to stop because it tastes so nice. You don't really know where they come from and you might be eating like you know some things they are vegetarian they say they're vegetarian but they're not because they put like animal fats and stuff in them. What's going on behind me at the moment is what we call Stir Fry Friday. The children are cooking the food from the garden or a vegetable they've brought in. There's no chemicals gone into it and like all the, there's been effort put into it and it's better to eat that instead of like something that we 
was going to use that, like it's been in a box for a month. I'm sitting in a school that's in a community, just like any other community in an inner city, that has challenges. The whole country's facing an issue around obesity. We can't just keep on measuring children. We must do something about it. In Hoxton, there's two main issues we're focusing on at the moment. The ability of parents to support their children in a balanced and healthy diet, and also parents' ability and children's understanding of where do we get those things from, those fruits and vegetables, those meats and so forth. So what we've put in place as well is some parents' cookery classes and cookery classes for children. So children are reading labels, see, well, where did this come from? I have to make a decision about what I want to eat and also its impact on the environment. The Food for Life partnership is exactly the sort of change that we need. Um, it's immediate, it's concrete, and for a relatively sl small investment, it can have profound long-term impact for the better on these kids' lives. If we don't act now, then for the next generation, for subsequent generations, maybe it's going to be too late.